Hello everybody, welcome to the Ozone, and today we are looking at the new Security Breach teasers, and this is amazing, Dorco revealed them all on his stream, there are 19 of them, and I think we, we best just get straight into them. Make sure if you enjoy this video, this analysis of these teasers, then you subscribe to the channel, uh, it takes one button and it helps me so so much. So this first teaser, this teaser number one, is literally just the logo of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. Um, I find this fascinating. The logo is amazing. Um, it really gives me Pizzeria Simulator vibes, and I really like that because I really like that game, obviously. Um, the logo is so similar to the Pizzeria Simulator one. It is insane. Um, and I really like how, how the characters are really cartoony. Um, I actually really like that style. Glamrock Freddy looks so amazing, I think, um, as the star of, of the bunch. Uh, and the others look really good too. The colours are amazing. Um, also, I like I like the kind of like the formation of the logo, kind of the shape of it. Um, the, the lightning bolts are kind of strange to me, these lightning bolts. Um, I don't know why lightning bolts, but I don't know if that's anything that we need to pick up on or if it's just there because it looks cool. <laughs> Probably the latter. I would like to say that the floor is very shiny over in this area and this looks very pizzeria-esque, you know? Um, I know that's not a word, obviously. You know in, in like FNAF 1 we have the checkerboard patterns across the walls in the office and the hallways and obviously we have the checkerboard floor that we see in pizzerias and stuff. Um, it's just kind of bringing us back to that, you know, uh, core FNAF style. Uh, buildings, you know. So, of course, we're gonna see this logo a lot in the mall, and those are shown in the next few teasers as well. So, let's move on to them. This is the second teaser, of course. Um, very, very nice. Uh, there's not much here. Uh, it's literally just another look at this kind of, I guess it's like a backstage area. I don't really know what it is right now. Um, maybe if you guys could tell me, but it, it, it definitely seems like it's backstage. It's, it doesn't fit with the, the main hall area and it's obviously like tight tunnels. Um, can you imagine though? Can you imagine like an animatronic running towards you while you're in these halls? That would be so terrifying. It really would. Um, and I, I think that is the kind of thing that Steel Wool and Scott are going for. Um, kind of these corridors that are kind of spooky and dark, which contrast to the main area. Uh, which are really spooky. Um, it seems like there's going to be like multiple tunnels and ways to go. Um, I know at the back it says L and R or something, um, which is weird, which is very weird. Um, but so far I really like the look of it. One thing I am going to say is that one criticism from the main gameplay t uh, trailer that we got for Security Reach was that it was unpolished. Of course it's going to be unpolished because that was literally just a gameplay uh, trailer that is not releasing like two seconds before the game is released. Like, of course they, they, they're going to polish it up. Uh, and that was one thing that we are excited for to see how polished the game becomes because I really feel like it's going to be really polished and really nice and it's going to be the best FNAF game. And by these screenshots alone, it already looks so much better. I mean, I'm not going to do it on the video, but if you compare this screenshot to a screenshot from the trailer, it looks so much nicer, it looks so much more atmospheric, and like the shaders are so much better, um, which they should be. <laughs> Speaking of lighting, we of course have this area. This looks amazing. Uh, it's just another view of the laser tag area. It seems like we have different sections with different animatronics. We have Glamrock Freddy over here and uh, Glamrock Chica, of course. Um, of course, one thing to point out here is that this is a space kind of themed laser tag. Um, it's very strange to, to pick out in particular, uh, like a space theme. Um, I don't know why that's been chosen of all, like, I don't know, I don't know why space, um, it, it, it kind of ties in with Freddy in space, um, 
as well as it also ties in with the moon and sun animatronic which I think is very uh, good to note because you you know in the areas that we saw in the trailer um, there's like stars ar around the place um, it seems like a lot of the the theme of the mall is kind of space themed and I guess like galaxy and planets and things I mean we've got floating planets here and a rocket um, it really does it it, it looks amazing um, and also as I was saying in the previous teaser um, like can you imagine running around this laser tag maze um, with like animatronics chasing you it would just be so <sighs> I can't wait. <laughs> okay, this one is very cool. Uh, this is another view of this kind of area with the with the cactuses, the cacti, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, it's kind of like, I guess it's kind of Mexican themed. Not really, but um, it's this is a very nice place. I actually really like this place, um, the atmosphere of it. Um, but one thing that a lot of people are pointing out is this robot right here. Um, it's literally a wet floor sign. Um, yeah, it's, it's a wet floor sign. I don't know what his purpose is, really. I, like, why, why are you here? Um, maybe Vanny could turn it against us, but I don't see how that would work, really. Um, obviously it's a wet floor sign, you know, it stands over wet floors. Right here below it, you can actually see it is wet floor. Um, the, fl the floor is wet. So that is one thing to point out. Also on voiceactors.com, um, Scott has hired somebody who is like a cleaning bot. And we're pretty sure that it is this robot because um, there is a minor character. Uh, and this character that we see on screen right now doesn't look like he's going to have a major part. <laughs> Uh, but that's very cool, and I really like the design of him as well. It seems like, just like in Pizzeria Simulator, we're going to get lots of different types of robots as well. Not literally just Freddy Fazbear, Chica the Chicken, Bonnie and Foxy and all that. We're going to get so many different types of, of like, ranges of, um, of animatronics and robots. Um, of course, technology probably has um, gone up since uh since the last game so we'll see we'll see how that plays out in security breach okay interesting um this one i don't really have much to say on this one honestly um what i will say that i actually just did did forget to say before is that um freddy in space 2 featured roxanne wolf right on that poster um, that Roxanne Wolf, Wolf was there, and I think it's very cool how it is space themed. Um, knowing that, you know, um, yeah, I don't really have much to say about that. I don't have much to say about this teaser either. It doesn't really show us much. It's clearly the lace tag area again. It might be inside that little box. Um, it looks like an office kind of, possibly. I don't, I don't see. I don't know, maybe I'm missing something, but I don't really understand this. Because <laughs> there's no door or anything. Oh no, there's an entranceway there. I don't know, this, it's very weird, it's strange. Okay, this is more like it. This is the kind of teaser that I want. Uh, this is amazing. This is so incredible. So, this is Roxy's race course. <laughs> um, I... Oh, Roxy Raceway, I think it's called. Roxy Raceway. This is so cool. There's so many things to unpack here. I mean, there's trophies on the side here. Uh, there, there's, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a, like a picture of Roxanne with a flag, waving a finishing flag. Um, there's so many cool things, you know? Just so many, so much to unpack. There's, there's this, there's a, like a car hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> uh, obviously the stars above as well and that's what I mean we keep coming back to this kind of galaxy theme it's very strange um, and I think like also the fact that the car is kind of floating it's hanging from the ceiling hmm very strange it's kind of all, all kind of space themed I don't know if that's just I don't know I don't know I don't know what that means really uh, there's another kind of bike here or race car 
Um, there's also wheels, <laughs> wheels down the side of the wall, and I don't really know what that is. I don't know what any of these things are, but there's like trophies uh, and stuff. And yeah, I I I like this. I like the look of this. To me, I mean, you're gonna probably see this once you've seen all the teasers if you haven't already. But I think a lot of the mall is literally just games. So I think I think what we're gonna have to do in Security Breach is play Roxy's race course, uh, a race course, or play um, Montgomery Gator's golf course, and then um, the laser attack and, and stuff like that. And then to get to those areas, you have to run away from the animatronics and stuff. I, like, I don't know how all of this is gonna tie together, but when it does, it's gonna be very satisfying, I feel like. Um, but this is very cool. I like that we are seeing this. Um, because we we saw a glimpse of it in the trailer and it looked epic and now that we've seen this it's making me all excited <laughs> okay there's a few things here as well that I've pointed out obviously this is in the same area uh, as the as the last teaser because of the stars on the ceiling um, and and of course the purple lighting the thing that like two things here first of all Moondrop, okay? His name is Moondrop. We were right about that. Um, if you didn't know, in Curse of Dreadbear, I think it was, in the Curse of Dreadbear DLC, there was a candy called Moondrop, uh, and we kind of just kind of loosely connected the name Moondrop to the Moon animatronic, and there we go. The Moon animatronic is called Moondrop, um, which is ironic because we also have a Sun animatronic, um, and the opposite of Moondrop is Sunrise, uh, which which makes so much sense. It makes so much sense when you think about it. So it is now confirmed that the Moon animatronic is called Moondrop, and I'm pretty sure that like that's so much evidence that Sun, the Sun animatronic is called Sunrise. Uh, I I just love that. Um, but the other thing here is Chica of the Sea. Now, when I first read this, I was like, oh my gosh. It's another candy from, or oh, actually, is it candy? It might be a drink. It might be a drink from FNAF VR, but that's strange. Huh? Like that, that's so strange. The reason I say that's strange is because surely Moondrop would be an animatronic before they made the candy, right? And surely Chica of the Sea would be a, a saying or a phrase or something like Glamrock Chica's like motto? That's not the right word, but surely they would be um, things already before they make the candy. Surely they can't base sayings and a whole animatronic. Surely they can't base them off of a chocolate. What I'm trying to say here is is there even a possibility and there probably is it i'm probably wrong about this i'm probably missing something is there a possibility that this comes before secu uh, before fnaf vr i really don't want it to <laughs> but it's strange okay it's strange unless of course the the big poster on the wall saying chica of the sea um is like selling those drinks you know, like promoting the drink Chica of the Sea. Uh, I can see that being a thing too, but it's strange. It's very strange that those two things appeared as candies or whatever in FNAF VR, uh, and that this is coming after that game. Um, I don't know if I explained that very well, but if I didn't, um, I'm sure you can figure out what I mean, maybe. Um, there's some things on the wall. Uh, I don't think... Oh, that's Montgomery Gator there. Uh, is that the... No, that's not the Sun animatronic. Um, Fazcad. Fa Fazcade. Like an arcade, I guess. Fazcade. That's just a guess. Uh, I don't know what that is. And of course, yeah, Roxy's uh, Raceway. Very cool. What does it say down here? Five Nights of Fred... Oh. <clears throat> That's just the copyright. <laughs> anyway, next teaser. Okay, here we see the logo again. 
um, with the same lightning bolts and, and everything. Uh, this seems to be like an like an entryway. Um, what I will know is that, of course, Glamrock Freddy here has his space helmet on. So this might be the entryway to the laser tag, or it might be the exit from the laser tag. Um, one thing I do want to point out are the plushies, the little plushies of Glamrock Freddy. Oh my god, they look so cute. <laughs> I want one. I want one. Um, so yeah, not much, not much to point out here either, but I think this is some kind of entryway to the laser tag area, honestly. Um, I really like Glamrock Freddy. I love the design of Glamrock Freddy. So cool. Um, with a little hat on, on top of the astronaut helmet. That's so cool. Anyway, um, oh yeah, also, we do have... You remember those posters uh, that were teasing Security Reach that said jam and party and dance and stuff. I don't know if one said dance, but whatever. Um, yeah, those appear here. So, yeah, uh, those are things in the actual universe. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not much else to say really here, but very cool teaser. Okay, here's where we get to the good stuff. Uh, Monty's Gator Golf. Monty's Gator Golf. That's one thing I want to point out as well. It's not Montgomery's Gator Golf, it's Monty's G Gator Golf, and it's not Roxanne's Raceway, it's Roxy's Raceway. So they're very shortened versions. I wonder, this this might be a really stupid theory, but I wonder if the friendly, like the friendly versions of the animatronics that aren't corrupted, I wonder if they are the shortened versions of the names and the longer versions are like the ones that are trying to kill you, like the savage ones. I don't think that's a good theory, but <laughs> that would be very interesting if if they were actually if they were called Monty uh, in the in the game, but then he turns into Montgomery, just like how Vanessa turns into Vanny. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We have a lot of weird names here. So yeah, this is the golf course. Uh, I love this. We have like this little arcade ride here with, with golf balls. That's amazing. We have Let's Party down here, which is of course a classic... Um, oh no, it isn't. <laughs> it's not Let's Party, it's Let's Eat. Um, that, that's like a like a chica kind of place there, maybe. Um, I love the jungle theme. I love it so much. It's so cool. Uh, I love I love all the themes, really. Uh, that we're having in this mall. Uh, we, again, we see the lightning strike. Um, I don't know if that's something we need to keep pointing out, but I'm pointing out anyway, because <laughs> that's my job. Um, so yeah, and are those the stars in the background on the left? They might be. They might be the, the Roxy stars again. So we might see how they all connect together, uh, all these different areas. Anyway, the next one is another Montgomery Gator golf course um, uh, teaser. So cool! Oh my god, it is so cool. The <sighs> look at him, look at him. We're gonna have to go through his mouth, possibly, and I think that is e uh, another teaser in the, in a minute as well. Um, what I will say is that if you look at like if you just broaden things. You can see like the white and and like the flesh kind of colours in the background. It looks like we're inside a rib cage or something. Um, I think it might be more like dinosaur themed, like dinosaur, di like Jurassic Park kind of theme. Um, I don't really know what I'm talking about at this point, but it's it's um it's a strange choice. It looks like we are in some kind of ancient ruins or s no, not ruins, like um. Like a fossil? No, no. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and these areas do look playable as well. It looks like we are going to be actually be able to play golf against an animatronic alligator. <laughs> it's amazing. It's so cool. Um, I would like to point out number 13 is, is the hole that is shown here. Bad luck. 13 for bad luck. Don't know. Um, and again. We have another lightning strike, literally on Monty's face, on the left. Again, I don't know if I need to keep pointing this out, but we have a lot of lightning strikes and I have no idea why. This is an even cooler view, of course, from 
the inside of Monty's mouth. Um, I don't know what this means. Uh, like, surely we must be playing golf through the mouth, right? We must go in one end and then come out the mouth. Oh god. There's this nice truck in the background. Um, the sign that says Monty's Gator Golf. Uh, yeah, there's there's nothing else really to unpack here. Uh, it seems like we're going to have more than 13 holes. Um, 14 is the highest number I've seen. Uh, yeah, there's, there's not really much else to say about this really. Um, so yeah. This is strange. Um, the famous Glamrock Beauty Salon. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, again, I really love the theme of this. This is very kind of um, cowboy-esque, you know, um, and also kind of like 1980s kind of kind of theme as well. For some reason the first thing I noticed in this was the black and white in the back and it reminded me of the puppet stripes. Don't think there's a connection there but that's something to point out again. Um, so yeah, there's a beauty salon in this mall. Um, very strange. <laughs> Uh, very strange. It seems like um, there's like a bin. I think it might be a trash can uh, on on the left, right on the left, next to the rock, um, with with Glamrock Freddy's, you know, bottom half of his face on it. Um, again, I don't I don't really have much to say about this one. It's just a very cool area again, uh, and, an, and an area we haven't seen yet. So, very strange. Very strange. While I get the opportunity, um, yeah, I, <laughs> this mall is massive. This mall is so big. If, if it has an entire golf course, a racetrack on it, and a beauty salon, in fact, oh, now that I think about it, this could be part of the racetrack. It could be part of the racetrack. Um, although, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, it could be. Um, once again, I have to say it, there's a lightning strike on the right, um, and what I said about the puppet before, I was completely wrong because it's literally just, you know, white and black, like, you know what I'm talking about. I'm I'm not right about the puppet theory, okay, there's no puppet in this, <laughs> there's no marionette. Um, yeah, and again, I don't have much to say about this, but it just looks so cool, it reminds me of the movie Cars. It really does. It reminds me of the location of the movie Cars. Um, <laughs> which is so cool. Um, so cool. Okay, so this is also epic. This looks like a massive dining area, like kind of like a main pizzeria area. Um, but it's weird. It's so weird because we have Roxy Raceway in the back we have, I think that's that's a sign for the Glamrock Beauty Salon again in the back. We have Pizza, 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 Pizza. Freddy Fazbear's Pe Mega Pizza Plex again. We got the same logo. We've got, um, yeah, we we got Laser Blast or Faz Fazer Blast, something like that. I don't know what that says, but we have all of the different games here, and I'm confused. I'm very confused. Is this like the main lobby area? It would be a bit strange to be, but it's strange. Um, another thing, Bonnie is coming back. Bonnie is back. Bonnie Bowl. Seems like there's going to be a bowling game for, with Bonnie. <laughs> like, this is crazy. Uh, all we need now is Foxy, and we, who we've seen. Uh, and once we got Foxy, that's the whole gang uh, back, in, back in the game again. Um, I, I really like this area. Like... I know I have so many positive things to say, um, so give me a break. I want to say, right here, <laughs> are these trash cans for Freddy, Monty, and Chica? I love that. I I really love that. Um, this with the stars. The st ah, and again, we have lightning bolts again. I honestly don't know what the lightning bolt thing is about. Tell me guys if 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 I'm onto something, but the lightning bolt, hmm, it appears in like literally every teaser, so it, it's very strange.
But I really like this, how like the stars, they kind of correspond to the FNAF 1 kind of dining area, if you know what I mean. Um, kind of old school chairs, but very modernized. I really like this, I really like it. And all of, them, all of the neon lighting and the neon signs, I absolutely love, they're so cool. Okay, we're on to our last five teasers, and four of them are ones like this, where we look inside those areas where they live, essentially. I don't know if it, it's where they live, but they're very interesting, um, to say the least. We have Chica Chicken, Chica Chicken, um, interestingly not called the Glamrock Chica, uh, just Chica Chicken, and does this say fitness? Fitness, fitness something food, fitness, fitness something, I don't know, fitness something food, <laughs> um, tell me if you can uh, decode that, but this is a very interesting area, and the reason why is because We've got just loads of junk on the floor. Like, what is going on? I think these are toys, but yeah, th these are toys. These are toy Glamrock Chicas. All on the floor, there's all of these like empty pizza boxes. So my question is, does Chica have diabetes? <laughs> is Chica going to be obese in this game? Um, I hope not because I like Chica as she is <laughs> what it like this is crazy like what is going on here it's so strange it seems like each character actually has like character personalities so it seems like Chica like Chica eats loads <laughs> um, which is crazy it's so crazy to think about um, but yeah all of the areas are basically the exact same but different so I'm going to show you the next one. So this is Roxanne Wolf. So what's different about Roxanne's? Um, obviously we've got the, the race race tracks and, and stuff, the checkerboard patterns for the flags. Um, Roxanne Wolf on the wall. Got a star mirror. Um, we've got all these like tires and spanners on the wall. Um, I don't know what this is. Is this a mini racetrack? No, it can't be. Um, I I can't I can't quite figure out anything else here. Maybe we need to brighten it um, to see more of it. But very cool area. Um, I know the other ones have more to look at in them, so we're going to skip to them because I don't want this video to be 40 minutes long. We've actually skipped Monty's area because I want to talk about that one more. Um, but this is Glamrock Freddy's, uh, Freddy Fazbear, um, the lightning strike again. I actually think, um, just to put my final kind of word to it, I think the lightning strike literally is just for Freddy Fazbear, um, that's his thing now. It's a bit like, um, I was gonna say, no, no, I can say that. Uh, it's a bit like Harry Potter crossed with David Bowie, you know, if you know who David Bowie is, he had the, um, I think it was a lightning strike. Yeah, it must have been a lightning strike. He had the lightning strike, like, down here. Um, he was also around... He was... Oh, I don't know when he was popular. I'd say 90s, but I'm probably wrong in saying that. Um, anyway. Oh, and also... David Bowie wrote a lot about space. <laughs> he did. Ground control to Major Tom. Um... Yeah, I really like this massive Freddy. I, I really want that. Um, bowling pin. There's a bowling pin. And some bowling balls. So he's he's obviously... <laughs> he has been to Bonnie's Bowl. <laughs> he's been to Bonnie's Bowl. Uh, he's, he's, had a, he's had a drink. Uh, he's got an arcade machine there. I mean, Freddy's looks the most dapper. You know, it, it, if this was Alvin and the Chipmunks, this would be Alvin's, uh, Alvin's place, you know. 
Um, I really like this. I really like it. I love it so much. Um, even like the, the neon sign of his face. Also note how the neon sign of Glamrock Freddy, even though it's not his colours, are gold and purple. Hmm, where have we seen that before? Fred Bearer is in the game. <laughs> um, no, definitely not. Also, in the back, we have a back, you know, Th this door is open. Um, it seems like that's kind of backstage. Um, I don't know if we've seen this area before, but very cool. It seems like we'll be able to go there. Um, yeah, and there's another door here, just if you wanted to know. <laughs> okay, let's go back to Montgomery Gator because this is the most interesting. Okay, Montgomery Gator, Monty's room is strange, very strange indeed. Um, the reason I say it is strange is because I think Monty has gone a bit savage. Um, just like in, in Zootopia or Zootropolis, you know, um, basically they were they were having drugs <laughs> and then the animals went savage and then they wanted to kill things um, when usually they live in harmony. Um, I think it's gone like a bit like that. He, like, look on the wall. Like, Monty is literally destroying his, his place. He's scratching the walls. Uh, it's clearly Monty who has done this. I mean, who else would it be? Um, he's got a nice guitar. <laughs> uh, like, the L LEDs are, are, like, are gone. Broken. Um, yeah, and, and this this chair as well. This chair would usually be here, I think. Maybe, actually, maybe not. Uh, but that chair has been thrown thrown onto the on the stage area. You know, everything is a mess. Look at this! Like that's amazing. Um, it's so amazing how much detail they've put into the into these teasers. It's so cool. We've we've already gained a lot of knowledge about this, and I do feel like in this game the animatronics one by one are literally going to go savage, <laughs> and I really like that. I, I love that idea, love that idea, it's, it's kind of terrifying to think about it, uh, especially when there's an alligator uh, chasing you, I reckon Monty is going to be the scariest, um, so yeah, let's go to the final teaser, now this one, this one's a bit different, and the reason it's different is because it's darker, uh, both physically and psychologically? I don't know, and religiously. Let's, let's just say and religiously because that sounds kind of um, correct. Here we have Chica, or at least part of Chica. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is this is mad. I, I feel like this is going to be the place where Vanny is based. I really do. Um, for some reason, and I, I put this in a community post, this feels like um, kind of like the Savage mini games in Pizzeria Simulator, and in that respect, this game actually has a lot of different connections to Pizzeria Simulator, which I really like because that was a really good game. Um, and this is amazing! Like, look at how broken down she is! And I really do wonder if. Um, actually, there's two possibilities. This is either Vanny um, trying to. You know, hack into their systems, uh, make them go savage, uh, and like this is that this is her way of changing them. Or, and this is a big possibility. You remember the hand right at the end of the security breach trailer. This could have something to do with that. And what I mean is, I feel like if Afton truly is coming back, and we are going to talk about this maybe in a video one day. Um, but if Afton truly is coming back in Security Breach, just like we're kind of seeing right now in the epilogues of the Fazbear Frights books, then uh, could he have something to do with this? I feel like he's going to grab parts of each robot, put them all together, and it's lit and it's going to be an amalgamation. He's going to make himself into an amalgamation, and it's going to make connections and parallels to the epilogues of the uh, books. If you haven't read the epilogues, I'm sorry for um, talking about them, but I, I won't anymore. Um, anyway, one thing I, I do want to say here is that 
notice it is Chica's beak. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if that's a connection, but yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed. Um, I've been recording for way too long. Uh, did not plan for this. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will hopefully see you in another video soon. And yeah, tell me what you guys think about all these teasers in the comments. And I will see you later. Goodbye.